Welcome to Vital Signs Quiz. Test your knowledge with 10 beginner-friendly questions on measuring and interpreting vital signs. Think for a few seconds, then see the answers with clear explanations. Perfect for nursing students and professionals. Subscribe for nursing quizzes and drop your score in the comments. Disclaimer, this content is for educational purposes only, not medical advice. Question one, what is the normal range for an adult's resting heart rate? Question one, what is the normal range for an adult's resting heart rate? Answer, 60 to 100 beats per minute. Explanation, a resting heart rate of 60 to 100 beats per minute is typical for healthy adults. Nurses check this by palpating the radial pulse or using a monitor. A rate below 60 may indicate bradycardia, while above 100 could suggest tachycardia, both requiring further assessment. Question two, what device measures oxygen saturation in the blood? Question two, what device measures oxygen saturation in the blood? Answer, pulse oximeter. Explanation, a pulse oximeter is a non-invasive device clipped to a finger or earlobe to measure oxygen saturation. Normal SpO2 is 95 to 100%. Low readings may indicate respiratory issues, prompting nurses to act quickly. Question three, what is the normal respiratory rate for an adult at rest? Question three, what is the normal respiratory rate for an adult at rest? Answer, 12 to 20 breaths per minute. Explanation, nurses count respirations for a full minute to assess breathing patterns. A rate below 12 or above the 20th of May signal respiratory distress or other conditions, guiding further care. Question four, what does the systolic number in a blood pressure reading represent? Question four, what does the systolic number in a blood pressure reading represent? Answer, the pressure in arteries when the heart contracts. Explanation, systolic pressure, the top number in a BP reading, reflects the force during heartbeats. A normal value is around 120 millimeters of mercury. High systolic pressure may indicate hypertension, a key focus in nursing care. Question five, what is a normal body temperature range in Celsius? Question five, what is a normal body temperature range in Celsius? Answer, 36.6 to 38 degrees Celsius. Explanation, normal body temperature, measured orally or tympanically, ranges from 36.6 to 38 degrees Celsius. Fever above 38 degrees Celsius or hypothermia below 36.6 degrees Celsius requires nursing intervention, like cooling measures or warming blankets. Question six, where is the radial pulse typically measured? Question six, where is the radial pulse typically measured? Answer, on the wrist, below the thumb. Explanation, the radial pulse is felt on the wrist's radial artery, a common site for pulse checks. Nurses use two fingers to count beats for 30 to 60 seconds, ensuring accurate heart rate data. Question seven, what position should a patient be in for an accurate blood pressure reading? Question seven, what position should a patient be in for an accurate blood pressure reading? Answer, sitting with feet flat and arm at heart level. Explanation. Proper positioning ensures accurate BP readings. The patient should sit quietly for five minutes with the cuff at heart level to avoid falsely high results, which nurses confirm before charting. Question eight, what vital sign is often affected first in early shock? Question eight, what vital sign is often affected first in early shock? Answer, heart rate. Explanation, in early shock, 
the heart rate often increases to compensate for reduced blood volume or oxygen delivery. Nurses monitor for tachycardia as an early warning sign, prompting urgent action. Question 9. What should you do before measuring a patient's temperature orally? Question 9. What should you do before measuring a patient's temperature orally? Answer. Ensure they haven't eaten or drunk for 15 minutes. Explanation. Recent food or drink can skew oral temperature readings. Nurses wait 15 minutes to ensure accuracy, using a clean thermometer probe for hygiene. Question 10. What does a low oxygen saturation reading below 90% indicate? Question 10. What does a low oxygen saturation reading below 90% indicate? Answer. Potential respiratory distress. Explanation. An SpO2 below 90% suggests the body isn't getting enough oxygen, often due to lung issues. Nurses report this immediately, as it may require oxygen therapy or further tests. Wow! You made it through all 10 vital signs questions. How many did you get right? Drop your score in the comments and let me know what nursing topic you want to quiz next. Maybe infection control or medications? Hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more quizzes every 